snow. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's snow. Yes, it's summertime, but it is snow uh, because parts of Newfoundland are under a blanket of the white stuff. The province's transportation department is warning residents to drive extra cautiously on the roads today, you think? Uh, fortunately, the snow is not expected to stick around. Weather forecasts are calling for heavy rainfall in the province by later tonight, but imagine that. Uh, it is June, late June. I want to bring in meteorologist Eddie Shear from St. John's to tell me a little bit this more about is this 2018 snowstorm. That this Eddie, happened. Uh, you can't be very popular in Newfoundland right now. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm certainly not. And, uh, you know, the forecast yesterday and really going back to the weekend uh, was showing the potential for a snowfall across parts of uh, Newfoundland uh, really last night into this morning. And that's exactly what transpired. In fact, in some spots, it was a little more than what I was even thinking would fall yesterday. But, uh, you know, it is late June. This is an extraordinary setup that... Uh, Hopefully this is the last time I'm talking about snow for uh, quite some time. When you talk about extraordinary setup, uh, what do you mean? How unusual is, is this crazy weather? What caused this snow? Oh, I mean, if you can see here on the uh, satellite the white picture, horse. I mean, the storm that's uh, kind of passing south of the Avalon Peninsula right now is one that almost has a very winter-like characteristic look to it, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, we have this very strong low. We've got unseasonably cold air to our north. So between that and the low being very strong, it's helping to pull some of that cold air in and really drove some snow across the higher elevations of interior and central Newfoundland this morning uh, because the air was just cold enough for that snow. I mean, temperatures in areas like Gander and Grand Falls, Windsor this morning, folks were waking up there to temperatures right on the freeze mark. We're like four days or five days from July, which is, uh, it's ridiculous. It's not fair almost. It really isn't, but I'm curious to know if this is, has historical precedence, or is this does this break any kind of record? Uh, we have seen snow in Newfoundland in June. Uh, earlier this month, for instance, we saw a little bit of snow as well. Uh, but uh, it's hard to say exactly, you know, on a historical context what this means. I will tell you that uh, Gander, for instance, they measured a snow depth of 2 centimeters earlier today, which is the latest snow depth of that magnitude on record going back to when that record started to be kept, which was 1955. Okay. So snow this late in the season uh, is certainly something that we don't see very often, although snow in June uh, has happened in the past. I'm just looking at the uh, swimming pool in the backyard juxtaposed next to the, yeah. the snowfall on the ground. Uh, tell me you got some good news for the people out there, Eddie. Yes, we certainly do. Uh, you know, the, the funny thing about uh, Newfoundland and Labrador weather is the weather can sometimes turn on a dime. And that's exactly what we're going to see tonight into tomorrow. So today, temperatures where it snowed in central Newfoundland, really eastern areas, struggling to get to 3, 4 degrees. Tomorrow, we're back to the mid and upper teens. Some spots may get to 20. We should see some sunshine. And as we go into the rest of this week, temperatures widespread in the 20s. And then looking at Canada Day on Sunday, temperatures then look to be in the mid-20s with lots of sunshine. And even warmer temperatures are on the way for next week. So certainly some good news there so one kind of really unseasonably cold day to get through which is yeah. today and then we're definitely on the upswing after you build in one of our biggest cities like in the winter you mean no in july july like what it's usually warm year round out here but well look at that how are people dealing with this honestly they're pretty excited like you don't see that often the weather just keeps getting weirder and weirder south africa what's happening with you it's no in one of our biggest cities like July, July, like, what? It's usually warm year-round here, but, well, look at that. How are people dealing with this? Honestly, they're pretty excited. Like, you don't see that often. The weather just keeps getting weirder. Oh, boy! This is a little confusing. It's the beginning of July. This is what the ground looks like. Yes, this is snow. This is not sand. <laughs> We're going to see if we can get some snowy stops here. People loaded onto a bus outside the sports basement in Berkeley this morning. Heading north for what coordinators are calling one last hurrah this historic winter season. I mean, I have no idea what we're getting into right now. Uh, you know, it's going to be more water skiing, I think, than anything. But, you know, we boxed them up good, and I saw pictures, and, you know, off-piste is dirt. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, but there's going to be band up there and stuff, so it should be a good time no matter what. After the weekend of warm temperatures, somewhat of an odd sight seeing snow bibs, puffer jackets, and sweatshirts. In fact, Sports Basement's outdoor program director, Phil Gore, says the company wasn't sure whether the Tahoe ski bus would take off. But they did. Three minutes to load and leave for a three-hour drive. Destination, Palisades, Tahoe. 70 to 80 degree weather uh, at a ski resort is not ideal for, you know, excellent snow, 
snow conditions. Um, but, you know, it's something that, you know, we just deal with, right? And uh, we're just grateful to be skiing on July 4th weekend. Hitting the slopes this July 4th holiday is an option at Palisades Tahoe for the first time in more than a decade, at least on the Alpine side. A resort spokesperson says crowds continue to come and are invited to do so through the four. Music to the ears of those who don't want to believe the winter season is coming to an end. But powder in July is only proof of the outdoor adventures afforded to Californians. You go surfing at Ocean Beach in the morning, you know, go water skiing on the Delta in the afternoon and make it up to Tahoe, put some turns in in the late evening. I mean, that's just California. That's how it goes. And though many anticipate snow conditions will be less than pristine, they're just happy to hit the slopes. Sold on the Tahoe ski bus, eliminating the need for any additional planning, pumping gas, and holiday parking. Like, we know how to drive ourselves, so it's like the best thing ever. So then we both don't have to like take shoes while driving. Groups left from the Sunnyvale and San Francisco locations as well. They leave Tahoe at 2.30 this afternoon. This will be the latest that ever ski by a long shot. And, you know, it'll be one of those things, you know, you remember? Remember we went skiing on July 3rd? Yep. Okay, you know, and we didn't have to hike. <laughs> you know, the lips are open. In Berkeley, I'm a medical studio, ABC 7 News. So, in this video, I'm just talking about the strange weather that we're seeing so late. Um, usually, as we all know, there is no uh, snow occurring in the summer. Um, but, because we are in the end of days, we will have weather, cold and hot, in and out of season. So what do I mean? We may see winter in the dead of summer, and we may see um, summer in the dead of winter, or what should be the dead of winter. So uh, because we are in the end times, we are seeing the wrath of God. We are seeing how he warns us by the strange weather that the end of time, as we know, have known it, is coming to a close. So everyone should get your, your heart right, get your life together. Uh, and what do I mean by that? I mean know who Christ is know that he is God and know that he is Savior you have to believe this personally that he saves your sins personally and you have to believe that he is God his work on the cross his shed blood covers or atones for your sins personally we have to believe that and we will be saved from an eternal uh, existence in the fires of hell um, like I said earlier heaps of snow um, ice storms blizzard-like conditions, extreme cold, in or out of season, is from one of the horses of the apocalypse in these end days, called the white horse. There's four, and this is just one of them. And we have to understand that we are in the end times, okay? This is our warning, okay? People should not be skiing in, you know, in summer. It's just normally in these places it doesn't happen like that. You know, they transfer over to a new type of event maybe happening in the mountains, but it's, you know, it's usually hiking or something like that. Um, it's definitely shouldn't be snowing. It shouldn't be this much snow. Although some mountains, you know, they maintain a snowpack until maybe you know mid-july sometimes it's odd but sometimes they have it but it's not enough to ski on but we're talking heaps of snow still left in these places and people are going to ski 
so this is not normal although it may look like fun it may be fun these are warning signs that we are in the last days okay I guess I will I will leave it right there um, may God bless you